welcome to this session we are going to learn in this session security group in depth uh, how to configure security group and how to allow different combination of traffic and how to configure inbound role and outbound role we will see in this session so i have configured one uh, instance here we can see the instance and basically with all default configuration so let's see the security group so here you can see the security group assign is the wizard 3 so let's open the security group so this security group is already filtered here so we can see uh, our security group only okay so we are in ec2 dashboard and uh, in a network security here you can see the security group so by default security group has uh, ssh port 22 enable here and uh, by default from for inbound uh, when to lane traffic is uh, deny all for all so whatever your rule create you can see uh, here the access from the outside to inside okay so let's uh, see the instance and to connect so you know how to connect instance you just have to pass the key at ssh ec2 user at the rate ip minus i and key so i have already connected here and we are connected the ec2 user so because we have allowed the uh, SSH, so I'm able to connect through the live IP. And you, let's update first one. So uh, let's install HTTPD for Apache server. Okay, I got root user. Now I can allow to install the package. Okay. So now my HTTP server is installing and now it's installed. So after install, we can check the service using command service httpd status so you can see it's now stopped so we have to enable it service httpd start okay it started so you can again check with the same command so now it's running so this is the for temporary and if you want to enable uh, service status from after reboot also then we have to uh, enable from this command check config stpd on so using this command it will be automatically restart uh, service after reboot appliance so here cd we are going to go in the path cd var www and html so here all files are stored for your web server and we are creating here one sample server sample file so we are here creating the one file index dot HTML okay welcome to LBS easy learning 
Okay, so um, okay, so let's see our file is here. Okay, our file is here, and let's open the public IP here. Okay, it will not be open because we have the only 22 port are open. So we have to create another rule for HTTP. So I'm here going to edit and adding rule for HTTP. Okay, and port 80 will be allowed from the any source. Uh, basically, security group rule immediately uh, taking effect and uh, uh, it's created two rules for uh, ipv4 and ipv6 uh, no issues but uh, you have to understand the once you create this uh, uh, security group rules it will be take immediately effect. so let's replace the ip here okay so you got the page from your web server and because you have enabled that http okay so basically you cannot uh, uh, deny because for all traffic it's deny only you can only allow uh, for inbound traffic and uh, for outbound traffic you can uh, deny here because all traffic are uh, allowed here and based on your requirement you can change here so let's delete this one so for this if you delete then all traffic from uh, inbound to outbound will will be stopped okay so now all traffic will stop let's replace this one okay so even after deleting the rule in outbound it is a open for us for inbound so you have to understand the it works as a state full firewall so uh, requests which serve in the same session will be allowed for inbound and outbound so you have to understand that uh, stateful you can uh, take the help for the firewall tools also okay so guys this is the uh, basic configuration for security group uh, we have learned that all inbound traffic is blocked by default all outbound traffics are allowed by default changes of security groups take immediately effect so you need to take care basically these things are uh, asking in a certification and interrogations you can any number of uh, instance with a single uh, security group you can assign uh, security group to to any number of instance and uh, you have to uh, understand that uh, security groups are stateful power rule and basically this is the configuration how to enable uh, different kind of rules uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, please keep watching this video thank you